or full staff. Welcome back to the arena. I'm Michael Corrin. And anti-Semitism, it's really when the toxins of hate are pumped into the bloodstream of an angry society or community. We thought, I believe we thought, it had been killed or at least silenced, but the corpse has been resurrected. Academic and author Phyllis Chesler has written The New Anti-Semitism. She joins us now from New York. Phyllis, is there really a new anti-Semitism? Yes, and it's a combina It's a perfect storm of Western intellectuals who are making common cause with Islamic barbarians who are on a religious jihadic war against post-Enlightenment West. And what's new about it is that, of course, today anti-Zionism is also part of what's new about anti-Semitism. What's also new is that it's coming fiercely at us from the Islamic world. I mean, bin Laden uh, talked about the Zionist crusader alliance that he was out to destroy. Mm -hmm. So Israel is the symbol for the West and has been treated as the Jew of the world, while the entire world allows this to continue. It's, this is worse than before World War II. Really? Because it's global. Okay, let, let, let me challenge yes, you, for, for, if, if I may, if I may. I, Anti-Semitism is quite complex to define. The term has been overused obscenely by people, I believe, and it's been used as a political weapon, mm -hmm. and I think that's mm -hmm. had tragic consequences. But if someone dislikes, hates someone because they are Jewish, refuses to give them a job, would like to hurt them, punish them, maybe even kill them because they're Jewish, that's clearly anti-Semitism. Israel's a nation state. Now, I'm pro-Israel, but mm -hmm. there are a lot of Palestinians living in the West Bank or in Gaza. They would say, I don't really hate anyone, but I don't feel I'm being treated properly. I feel I'm under occupation. I, I feel there's a certain oppression here. Mm -hmm. You can't just dismiss mm -hmm. all those people as anti-Semitic, surely. Well, excuse me. The Palestinians are suffering because the elites are fascist thugs who use them as human shields and don't build bomb shelters to protect them are looking for a high body count so that the propaganda war against Israel will go their way, which happened this last summer in Gaza. So today, the United Nations, or it was yesterday, the United Nations decides to vote against one country only, Israel, and wants Israel, not Iran, to uh, give up their nuclear weaponry. Time after time, Israel is subjected to defamations, to blood libels that no other country that is actually engaging in massive atrocities, beheadings, uh, Christian uh, crucifixions, as well as ethnic cleansing and Muslim on Muslim violence. Mm -hmm. These countries are not uh, demonized. They should be, but they're not demonized. Only Israel, who is above reproach is demonized. I think well, that is a version of new anti-Semitism. See, I, I know I'm supposed to, I suppose, many would like me to just agree with everything you've just said. I can't. I, I can't, honestly, and, and I think you, the book you've written is compelling in many ways, but the idea that Israel is beyond reproach is simply untrue. Israel is a democratic country. I, I love Israel. I, I, I admire and respect it, but it's not beyond reproach. And I, I honestly believe that if Israel had listened to the Palestinians maybe 30 odd years ago, we wouldn't have this situation now. However, mm -hmm. anti-Semitism is about more than that. Are you telling me that for a Jewish person in, in this country, in Canada, in the United States, in most countries in Europe, being Jewish, I mean, I, I think of New Zealand, the Prime Minister is Jewish. I think of Britain, the leader of the opposition is, is Jewish. I think of so many influential figures who are Jewish. They, they don't suffer discrimination. It... You, 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 are, you are missing the point of what is new about anti-Semitism. Um, on the campuses, think of York in Canada. Think of Concordia in Montreal. On the campuses in America, coast to coast, you have physical harassment, verbal humiliation, and physical abuse of anyone, Jewish or not Jewish, who dares to say, but Israel has a point, or let's be fair, or your criticism is unbalanced, that Islam is the largest practitioner of gender and religious apartheid, not Israel at all, contrary to the myth. And this means that the 
danger is is a thought crime danger that if you try to tell the truth mm. and not simply go along with the big lies that you in the west will be either you'll be demoted you won't get tenure uh you'll be beaten up in a mob uh you'll be censored you'll be sued you will be sued in canada has seen many lawsuits when people try to say, listen, Islam is on a war path. Well, or, okay. uh, right, right. while people if, if, suffer... I, if, I may, if I may respond, I mean, I, I've just published a book by Random House, biggest publisher in the world, uh, called Hatred, Islam's War on Christianity. No one has sued me. I've spoken repeatedly during Israel Apartheid Week in favor of the Jewish state on campuses, and, and no one tried to silence me. I would acknowledge there is harassment and threats against uh, supporters of Israel, not from everyone and not everyone, but it does, it does occur. I, I would say that this reveals within certain circles, particularly on the left, a denial of Islamism and what it re is really doing. Mm -hmm. I think it's an ignorance of the relationship between Israel and its neighbors. But I'd be loath to call this the new anti-Semitism. I still believe that Jewish people it, throughout the, the Western world uh, can be what they want to be and do what they want to do. I think France it has a situation which it has to deal with, and that's, that's particular. In most countries, there was a poll, a survey taken recently, then the, the level of anti... Look, a country like Sweden, which has a, a wait, 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 wait. very Let high, me... high anti-Israel attitude in Israel, uh, uh, towards Israel and Sweden, but the level of anti-Semitism was incredibly low. Yes. Well, not so fast. I agree with some of what you just said, but... The other day in Paris, a young couple was mugged. She was raped. They were held hostage. They were robbed and then beaten because the attackers said, quote, you're Jewish. Mm, as I That's mentioned. France. Yeah. Paris, in a suburb of Paris, there are stabbings going on in Jerusalem of individuals who are completely peaceful. There was this awful atrocity in a synagogue. Men were praying oh, yeah. and two jihadists came in and sure. butchered them. It baka Yahud. Of course, uh, it was appalling. Because they were Jews. Yeah, well, it, that, that's an Israel-Palestinian well, issue and it's repugnant what happened. I, no. Paris, my daughter lives in Paris. I know, I, I mentioned to you, France is an issue. But again, I, I think there is a difference between exposing these idiotic anti-Semites who have no understanding of Israel and actually saying there's a, a new anti-Semitism, because I, I think it's more nuanced than that. Well, last word to you, though. Okay, the last, thank you. The, what's new about anti-Semitism today is also it got, it's on the internet and it goes viral in 24-7 and in every language on earth so that people are hating Israel without knowing anything about Israel, without even having yeah. Jews in their okay. country. That's right. also new. I appreciate it. Very interesting. We don't have to agree on everything. I think it's often better to have a bit of disagreement, more interesting interview. But what you've said is uh, fascinating. Thank you so very much indeed.